uh, discussing how I, how I haven't really explored peak oil or the subject very much on this podcast yet, um, I do hear a lot more often than than about this subject um, in the mainstream press. I mean, I, I think in pretty, uh, pretty like, I, I, I use the term mainstream, but corporate press, uh, yeah. the, the sound, they're kind of sounding the alarm that like nothing has really changed since 2008. We, we've tried to make the economy work and it's on the surface. It seems to be going along as we expect it to, but, uh, we may be experiencing in the near future, we will be experiencing another financial crisis and it right. may be the crisis. Like it's not going to be something that can be, um, fixed by the federal reserve or, or patched up. Um, and that fracking, and like you mentioned, it is kind of a perfect storm. It all kind of happened simultaneously. Um, and you're pointing to how an, the secret's out. Fracking is being shown to to be a very short term game. Uh, what what does that mean? Like, uh, what would I guess maybe to ask this in a question? Um, do you see there being an interplay between the financial market and financial crash? and the oil industry, or do you see one kind of coming before the other and they're kind of maybe not, not exactly working together to create a collapse, yeah. but do you know what, do you know what I'm kind of what I'm getting at? Sure. Um, yeah, yeah, as I said earlier, uh, high oil prices uh, tend to um, cause the economy to slow down. Uh, what would definitely cause the economy to slow down would be if there just weren't enough oil to go around. Now, th- there are a lot of folks talking about uh, peak oil demand these days, the, the idea that you know, if, we're, if we're all driving electric cars, then the demand for oil will crash. We won't, just won't need as much, and the oil industry will just kind of you know, slink away into the, into the bushes. Um, well, that would be a nice way for things to, to work out, uh, but so far... Uh, that's not how it's happening. Yes, it's true. We're all, um, the, the, the electric cars are becoming more common. My wife and I have an electric car that we're very happy with. And, you know, you see them all over Northern California and so on. But um, demand for oil globally is, uh, is still growing. Uh, there's no substitute for oil yet in aviation and shipping. Uh, and, as a result, um, we're still in a very dependent situation on this this energy key energy resource, and so if fracking fails, what else could keep global oil supplies growing? Well, you look to uh, uh, Canada's oil sands, or some sometimes they're called tar sands. The technical name for the stuff is bitumen. Um, there's a lot of the stuff there, but again, uh, nobody's making a profit producing it. It's so hard to transport and to, uh, to refine that it sells at a steep discount. Even with global oil prices in the range of 70 bucks a barrel, uh, they're only getting about 25 to $30 a barrel for the bitumen at the mine mouth in, in Alberta. And they can't make a profit at that price. Uh, prices are going to have to be much higher before they can think about expanding operations. So there's there's not likely to be much growth there. And of course, you know, if you look at it from an ecological standpoint, uh, a bitumen is the worst of the worst. You know, mm-hmm. carbon emissions associated with it, the pollution of, of groundwater, destruction of boreal forest, uh, you know, yeah. on and on and on. It's, you know, it's a nightmare. Um, so if, if you take LTO away and there's not much uh, growth to likely to happen in, uh, in, in Alberta tar sands, uh, where else is there a lot of oil? Well, Venezuela, but Venezuela is having uh, tremendous political problems and economic problems right now. Their, their oil production is, is declining rather than growing. Uh, so we're just kind of hanging on by the skin of our teeth right now. As long as tight oil uh, is is still hanging in there and growing a little bit, the world oil supply looks okay. But you know how how long can this go on? That's the question. You know, is we're headed for a reckoning? Is it going to happen? in 2019, 2020, 2021, it's most likely to happen sometime in the next 
two, three years or so. It, we at Post Carbon Institute have actually looked into this in, in, in pretty great detail. Um, one of our uh, fellows uh, named David Hughes is a geoscientist who has um, studied uh, the, the geology, uh, geophysics of uh, LTO production about as thoroughly as, as anyone. We've issued some reports that you can look for and download for free online. Uh, uh, look for shalebubble.org. Just Google that or put it in your search engine and you'll, you'll find a whole series of, of detailed reports with graphs and everything. We've hired the, the uh, proprietary data from uh, an organization called Drilling Info, which is the same organization that the U.S. government relies on for its data on, on U.S. oil production. So we're pretty confident in our analysis, and and it looks, you know, to us it looks it looks pretty grim. Now, yes, for, uh, granted, the U.S. Department of Energy looks at things differently. They say that uh, LTO can continue growing until you know twenty forty or even twenty fifty, but uh, the 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 assumptions that they base those projections on are, in our view. Uh, extremely optimistic and unrealistically optimistic. Uh, more realistic assumptions yield a, a, a peak and decline in, in US LTO much sooner that, than that. And um, I should mention that light tight oil exists in many other parts of the world. And geologists and oil companies have known that for the last uh, decade and more. But Production has not taken off for a number of reasons, and part of that ha- just has to do with there are, you know, there, the same conditions do not exist in other countries, and where there has been effort to produce LTO in other countries, like in Poland and um, Argentina and a few other places, it, it's it's mostly been a financial failure. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> 